Now, let's think back to those nice <sighs> spring days that we had not that long ago. Mm -hmm. You may think there's nothing new when it comes to gardening, but in reality, a whole slew of new garden, gardening trends that will freshen up your landscape. Garden Guy, Dale Kay is joining us live this morning to offer up some inspiration. Inspiring Guy with some inspiration. Good morning, Dale. Good morning, Hannah. Nationally, 51% of us said we're actually going to spend more time in the garden than we did both in 2023 and 2022. So as you look outside now and it's kind of bleak and every type of precipitation, as you mentioned, don't worry, you're not alone if you want to spend a little bit more time in the garden this year. Also, some trends that are happening, of course, nationally are growing edibles or growing vegetable gardens. No surprise there. And also, maybe trying something different is also a trend. A new vegetable, something that you haven't tried before, haven't eaten before, all that is trending right now. So I think I'm going to try some new radishes that I haven't tried before or grown before. And the great thing about radishes, they do kind of get started quite early. I'm also going to bang in an, app, an additional apple tree as well. Also nationally in 2023, one of the driest seasons across the country. So water conservation is a big trend for 2024. So saving water, collecting water, whether you're using a rain barrel, uh, make sure you got a timer. This is actually a sun rise timer that actually will water your garden in the mornings which is the best time to water so water conservation is is key and of course as we move through the season i'll talk a lot more about that so your garden grows a lot healthier and better so also some other trends that are happening for 2024 is incorporating natives into your existing landscape or turning over parts of your garden and uh, backyard into a native garden. You can do that either with seeds like this or of course you can buy starter plants and of course all the natives, super durable. They'll help with water conservation as well and also great for pollinators. So in any time you can incorporate natives, that is really, really key. Now, some other kind of design trends, if you will. Anything trailing is right on point right now. I have a Amanda Villa there. If you're looking for something outdoors, of course, if you're looking for something hardy, honeysuckle is another great one. Indoor trailing plants. Uh, the uh, little trailing dolphin plant there and the number one indoor trailing plant string of pearls next door there uh, are all super on point super trendy for 2024 anything that hangs or trails is really is really good also moonscaping uh, is very much still a trend it's actually been trending for a little bit but still on trend for 2024 and simply moonscaping is uh, plants that illuminate at night and also plants that are fragrant so anything with a silvery leaf anything with a white flower i always plant white man Villas, by the way. So if you want my kind of go-to trailing plant, white mandies, uh, truly outstanding. And then also anything fragrant, whether it's roses or any bloom that has fragrance to it, also very, uh, very fun to have for moonscaping. Some color trends for 2024, anything with a lime or chartreuse leaf is still trending. And something that is kind of also on point or new for 2024 is what they call gothic gardening or goth gardening. And that's really any plants that have black foliage. This is just a black ZZ, but of course there's black petunias, um, black leaf um, bugbane, all sorts of plants that you can incorporate into your garden that have that gothic look to it as well. Herbs are also really super on point for 2024 and not really trying to kind of in the traditional sense, but more incorporating herbs into your landscape as landscape plants, standalone plants, and also growing herbs for cocktails or mocktails. And mocktails are really, really trending because not every time you have a drink that you really want to have booze in it. So, of course, a lot of cocktails include... Um, include herbaceous plants or herb like plants whether it's mint basil rosemary and it's easy you can kind of just pinch off a leaf and just kind of put it in your oh, okay this is really just when you thought i was having a drink on the job no this is like the ultimate mocktail there's actually you know it's like there's nothing in there not even the mint goes in there and lastly also what's on point for containers is just back to the og the old the old school terracotta pot very much in fashion for 2024. I'll work on the cocktail. Back to you. All right. Ooh. There you go. There are so many trends out there. <laughs> if we were just we talking about them. them. Oh, Dale. <laughs> Bottoms up. I, Dale. Okay. Thank we, you. Uh,